Now let's divide using expanded division. So for 69 divided by 3, we can start by writing the question out like this, so with the divisor on the left. Now we take the first digit, which is a 6. So 6 is in the 3 times table, so we can write 6 below the 6, and then because 6 is 2 times 3, we can write 2 in our answer line. So this bit up here is our answer line. Now, normally we subtract, so 6 minus 6 is 0, so we don't need to write anything. But the next step is to bring down the next digit, so bring down the 9. Now again, 9 is in the 3 times table. So we can write minus 9 under the 9. And because 9 is 3 times 3, we have 3 as the final digit of our answer line. And we can subtract to show that we don't have a remainder. So 69 divided by 3 is 23. Now 72 divided by 4. So we write the question out in the same way. Now, taking the first digit, we have 7 divided by 4. But 7 isn't in the 4 times table. So we need to find the closest multiple of 4 to 7, which is still less than 7. That's 4, because if we went to 8, that would be too many. Now, 4 is 1 times 4, so 1 goes in our answer line. Then we subtract and bring down. So 7 minus 4 is 3, and we can bring down the 2. So now we have 32 divided by 4. Well, 32 is in the 4 times table, and that's 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32, so 8 goes in our answer line. Then we can subtract to show that we don't have a remainder, and we have our answer. 95 divided by 5. The first digit is a 9, and the closest number to 9 that's in the 5 times table, but which is still less than 9, is 5. And that's 1 times 5, so 1 goes in our answer line. Now we subtract and bring down. 9 minus 5 is 4, and we bring down the 5, so we have 45 divided by 5. Well, 45 is in the 5 times table, so we can write that underneath. And 9 times 5 is 45, so it's 9 as the last digit of our answer. We can subtract to 0 to show that we don't have a remainder, and we have our answer up here. 95 divided by 5 is 19. Now, 128 divided by 2. Well, if we look at the first digit, 1 is less than 2. And when this happens, we can take the first two digits together. So, we can divide 12 by 2. And the reason for that isn't because we have a three-digit number. It's because when we look at our first digit, it's less than the divisor. So let's start with 12 divided by 2. Well, 12 is in the 2 times table. So we can write 12 underneath. And because 12 is 6 times 2, we can write 6 in our answer line. Now, we subtract, so 12 minus 12 is 0, so we don't need to write anything, but we do need to bring down this 8. So we have 8 divided by 2. Again, 8 is in the 2 times table, so we can write 8 underneath, and because that's 4 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 is the final digit of our answer and we can subtract to 0 to show that we don't have a remainder. So, 128 divided by 2 is 64.